Oh, we got Pamela Ann Barry here with me, and she's going to be talking all about things that editors need to know in their film industry. Pamela, thank you for being here. Um, tell me, first off, you've got a book coming out. Let's talk about that right away. Yes, I was actually an editor on an editing book. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Seems a little redundant to me, but... <laughs> well, editors need their editors as well. Because <laughs> you've got your video editing, and now you're editing a, a book. Okay, so... You can't really do a lot of cuts and paste and little effects in your book. So what was the, tell me, how did that all work out? How did you get to make this book in the first place? And then who's it for? Well, that was a long story, but to make it short that I ended up winning an editing contest. And then I started working for Richard Harrington. And over the years, he's written like 30 books. And um, this new book coming out called An Editor's Guide to CS6. Uh, it was more like, hey, Pamela would be perfect to help edit this book. And so that's how I got onto that. Mm -hmm. And it, I, I learned a ton, for one, because I got to be a part of a project that helps teach other editors. And so when I came across problems in the book, I had no one to ask, but I had to figure out myself. <laughs> but it was great. It was great. It, this book coming out because a lot of editors are now switching from Final Cut Pro and switching from Avid to Premiere. And they needed this book to come out and help people and guide them through all the new stuff. Now, let's talk about that because, it, to me, Final Cut Pro was, it was the antithesis of all editing software. Oh, yeah. It was like the big dog. No one else could touch Final Cut. But then they come out with Final Cut 10. Yeah, that made quite the uproar in the editing world. And when I was at NAB this last year, um, the past few years, it's always been Final Cut, Final Cut, Final Cut. Well, the Adobe booth this last year was the biggest I've ever seen it. I mean, they had the big names out there speaking, and that place was hopping. It was amazing to see, and they are upping their game because they are they are now the premier editing system. Well, the, do you know if these guys over at Adobe ended up sending Final Cut Apple guys a gift basket for their big <laughs> screw-up? or Because they really should be really happy of how poorly they handled this because not only I mean don't get me wrong Final Cut 10 is not a bad editing program no it's not but it's not the professional grade that we were expecting but now we see what happens with Avid and all those cool things that are coming out tell us some of the upgrades we're seeing in CS6 the nice thing about CS6 is if you are coming from Avid or from Final Cut you can actually they have presets so you can have all your your typical shortcuts that you're used to right into Premiere what yeah yeah. <laughs> so so if you're used to Final Cut and you're used to all the shortcut pathways, mm -hmm. you don't have to learn a whole new platform. No. They're all already integrated. Exactly. <laughs> you just set it for, oh, I'm a Final Cut user, and boom, you're ready to go. Now, what I liked about Premiere before is that they had that auto render in the background. Yes. Is that still there in CS6? It's still there, and it's much improved. Really? Yes. And one of my favorite new additions to Premiere is what's called Prelude where you can ingest all your footage and you can log it, you can metadata, and then you can also um, back up to several different entities before you even bring it into Premiere. For example, if you have a producer, who's, yeah, if you have a producer <laughs> who's not that familiar with editing, but you need him to kind of look over some of the footage, just have him go into Prelude. It's a very simple interface. He can look and organize and say, ooh, I like this, I like this, and note it, mm -hmm. and then give it to his editor, and it's all ready to go. So they're saving a lot of time on the editor's side, so yes. they don't have to sit there with the producer, sit there with the director, sit there with everybody who needs to see this footage. They can all watch it pretty much from their own home computer. Yep and go through it, oh, I like that. <laughs> I loved it too. When I was going through the book and learning about Prelude, I was so excited. I started tweeting about it. And then I ended up uh, meeting with uh, Wes, who's over Prelude, and we got to, I got to have a sit down with him and go more in depth about Prelude and learn more oh about it. And now I'm just, I'm completely, Prelude is probably my favorite addition to CS6. And we're almost running out of time, but we also have a the increase the sound quality. Yes, that's a huge thing. I was I literally jumped off my chair when I started um, learning all the chapters on Sound Booth because they upped their game and they knew they needed to up their game with so many people switching over. That now you have so many more options when it comes to sound, and you can do just a ton of work right there in your sound booth. I'm freaking loving this. This is <laughs> awesome. I'm an editor junkie myself. So this, this show used to be a one-man band. Now I have the wonderful crew that's helped me make it. And so I'm always looking for things to make things easier. And it sounds like CS6 might be the way to go. What yes. is the name of the book so we can know when to buy it? It's an editor's guide to CS6. And you can find it on Amazon. I, I gave you the link. Okay, and I'll make sure it's on the show. <laughs> so it's, and it's a great book. And if you have any questions about anything when it comes to CS6, you're always welcome to give me a call. Perfect. Pamela, thank you so much for coming. 
When we come back, we're going to be talking to more awesome filmmakers here in the state. You are watching Filmed in Utah.